Hey guys, Oko here. Welcome back to our playthrough of the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So I'm just gonna quickly start things off here in front of the Hyrule Castle. This was the, yeah, the first gatehouse. Because I thought that we could just take a look at some of these weapons that they had lying around here that, that, they, said it, that they said that we could have. And see if any of them are better than the ones that we currently have. I thought there was some around here. Hmm, there's a few here. Soldier spear. Hmm, I'll leave it then. Yeah, this one. I might be getting rid of this one, so let's not hesitate to damage it up here. Well, I thought there was a bunch of other weapons around here, but I'm not seeing them. Maybe they were in another another part. Are we safe in here? No, we're not. Let's get back under cover. can't remember what we had down here. Let's take a look in here. What was in this room? A shield. I don't need that, though. I hear a Korok. Ah, there you. Yeah, you can hear them. The little rattling noise. What do we have here? Some sort of gate here, huh? Where does this go? Nope, can't get in there right now. Anyway, I'm just basically killing time. I thought I could find some extra weapons, but I guess we'll just have to use the ones we have. We actually have a pretty good weapon selection right now. I was looking at what we had. I'm looking at our arsenal. These, yeah. So we do have space for one more. Because I dropped a torch. A while back, I didn't think we were going to need for a while. We can always get another one of those. Let's see. What's in here? Oh, this is going somewhere. Let's see. What do we got? Oh my goodness. Where are we? Are we in the castle? What's down here? Guards chamber. There's monsters in here, isn't there? Yep. Hmm.
What's up here? What's this? Hmm. Wait, I totally wasn't expecting to do any of this, so... I actually, this is a black bacoblin. I actually need their horns, so. Well, he got me. They're pretty tough. Well, I think I better just come back here when I'm a little, little bit more prepared because I'm obviously not obviously not strong enough for that yet. What's up here? Interesting. All right. Well, that wasn't a very good exploration. I guess we can just make do with these weapons. We're going to have to, I guess. Let's put our best... What's our best weapon? We don't have very good weapons. <laughs> These are all really weak. But anyway, I don't know what to say about that. Ugh, what, do we, what do we do? I, it's kind of hard to find good weapons in this game. There's another Korok over here. Oh, it's one of those. <laughs> I didn't see anything. Oh, there they are. There it is. Yeah. All right, well, yeah. Where can I go to get a few more? I mean, I guess there's some shrines that we could probably go to to get more weapons. Hmm. Maybe I can get more down here.
Wait, what did that say? I dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity, Zelda. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I might need some more bomb flowers. Let's see, maybe we can check in here. Though rare, fairy sightings are possible inside wells. They're floaty and tough to catch, but you can manage pretty well if you approach them nice and sneaky. Do you happen to know of more well locations? I'd love to know more about them. Thanks. So, two of them this time. Thank you. So it sounded like she was implying that there might be some fairies here. Well, there's none here right now, so... I think this is that, like, under... Whoops. This is that, um... What do you call it? Whoops. A bunker kind of thing. What I'm looking for? A bunker. Anyone have anything... Anyone have anything important to say? Nothing today. <laughs> I can use a little eyeglass here, just look through. But you still can't zoom in and out for some reason. Alright, so I guess we're basically done here. Um, I can't think of anything else to do. I was hoping to have a few more bomb flowers, but... Maybe what we have is enough. So let's uh, head to the Lost Woods and see if we can help the Deku tree now. Alright, so we're back here at the Lost Woods, and the Koroks still aren't talking to us. They're just not really acknowledging us at all, and Deku Tree's feeling very sick. So we'll take a little time now before we jump down this hole and see if we can do this fight again. Um, first thing I'm going to do is start a fire. So we can do some cooking. Hmm. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I think we this is going to be an important one. I want to create some things that will really increase our attack power. Now, I guess that's not so hard. Like this is a big one. This is an easy one. Look, I have tons of these bananas. If you just fry up five bananas together, it gives you a food with a big attack bonus. So that's not bad. So I'll just hold on to that for nine minutes. That's long. It's a three. Yeah, that's good. And all it took was five bananas. So that's really awesome. So we'll probably start the battle with that. 
But let's cook some other things that we're going to need. Um, yeah, these are going to be important, I think. These iron shrooms, or was it the razor shrooms? When cooked, the prepared dish. So this one increases our strength. This one increases our defense. Actually, that doesn't really matter, though, because we can only have one buff at a time. And if we're using the mighty bananas, then that doesn't even really matter. So I just need to have things that will really increase a lot of um, hearts. So I think I'll go with some meat. I do want some mushrooms. Well, maybe I'll do, why don't we try one of these and just see what happens? And one of these monster extracts, which are supposed to do something amazing when you cook with them. Let's just try it. <laughs> Who knows? What, I have no idea what this is going to do. Meat? Oh, that's pathetic. What the hell? <laughs> a filling dish made by going... What the heck? What, quarter of a heart? What the hell? Well, that was a waste of those ingredients. That was weird. Apparently, it can be used to make a number of monstrous meals. Yikes. Okay, well, I better never... I better not use any more of that until I actually know what I'm doing with it. What's this? We have 21 of these fish. Glowing fish. I think when we... I think when we cook this, it, gets, it makes this... I think this makes a dish that makes us glow. Yeah, glow 10. So that'll be useful when we're down in the deep. But we'll just have to hold on to that one for now. Look at that. See, that's what I'm looking for. Five hearts with all those extra ones. That's like 10 hearts. That's what we want. How am I going to... Okay, let me just try this without the stupid monster extract. Let's do some more mushrooms. And how about one of these bananas? Just for the hell of it. Let's just see what that does. That's okay. Five, six, seven hearts. Let's see what happens when we do a bunch of this Hyrule herb. What does this stuff do? Oh, that's good. Five, yes. I'm going to do a bunch of those. That's good. Let's do another one of those. That was so good. And we have so much of this herb. <laughs> now, I need to make sure we're going to have room. Is there a... Can we only hold so much is what I'm wondering. This is stupid. I'm just going to eat this now. What a waste that was. That was dumb. That is giving us an attack up for two minutes and fifty. Yeah, I guess we can probably only hold this many. This one too. All right. One thing we need to experiment is with these these sandalions. I'm trying to remember what that recipe was. Oh, we might need to get some ingredients. Wasn't it this? Rice. Sundelion. It was something else. It was fresh milk. I only have one of those. So I might have to get some more of that. Hold. Sundelion and rice. Mm -hmm. That brings back three of our hearts from the gloom. Gloom hearts. Well, I'm out of milk, but maybe we can use something else like cheese. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. What happens if we use some of this with some meat? Let's just try that. Mmm. 
six gloom hearts restored. That's even better. Okay, let's do another one of those. Meat. Maybe I can even add a rock salt. So, one more item. I think we should do more gloom stuff. Mm, the hell are we doing over here? Let me see what else. I just want to make sure we have lots of stuff to get hit points. <laughs> uh, these guys are tough. Well, I think that gloom is really important, so I'm going to be doing another one of these. Hold, hold, meet. I didn't notice. Did the rock salt make any difference? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. So, this is what we're going to be going with. Here's our food. Here's, yeah, I guess the clothes we're going to go We're going to go with our regular clothes. Because they're the strongest ones right now. I was hoping to maybe upgrade them to another level. But it's going to take a lot of uh, grinding to do that, and we'll just have to wait for that. We can uh, also maybe play around with this Mystic Robe, too, if we keep uh, having failed attempts at this. We can always try this and see if it works. But the other thing I'm planning on doing is... firing some bombs at these guys. I only have nine of them. I wish I had more. Anyway, we'll see how this goes. Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to quickly try, too. Because we have these parts, these monster... Yeah, these things. Let me just try something here. Hold. Oh, shoot. Drop that, and then if we go like this, and go like this, <laughs> so that one that made that, which is now 28. That's pretty good, huh? All right, let's try that again with something else. Hold. Put it down. Select the weapon. Let's try one. I got two of these ninja swords. So let's try that. Uh, added a plus eight. And that makes it much better. Let's just do one more. I was planning on starting with this. We might as well. There we are. And let's just try something else. Let's try one of these monster parts. But yeah, this I had one of these. I thought these were kind of cool. Hold. Put that down. And we'll try at doing that with this. <laughs> so now our weapons are looking better, too. I mean, I may as well increase this one, too. I don't know. I guess since we have these parts, we might as well use them. Alright, that, that looks pretty good, I think. 
I'm pretty happy with that. I want to start with the sword. And of course, we gotta make sure we have our. Yeah, our bananas. I'm going to spam the bomb flowers and see if this works. I think it is working. Phantom Ganon. All right, so here we go. So this is the the real battle. Yeah, so we'll see how we do here. Well, should we try doing a little healing? Let's see, what was it? This one is the one that cures that. Use those up for now. I tried to avoid that one, but. Aha! Darn it. Yeah, I'm freaking out here, but uh, let's go like this. Maybe I should have made more of those. I don't know. Let's go with this. I should have uh, tried to avoid that, but... There we go. Now let's use this. There we go. We jumped over that one. Darn it. Now let's use this. Oh, please don't kill me. Let's see. Let's go like this. Yeah, I'm feeling confident about this. Oh, Oko, that was the wrong move. Well, I tried to avoid his attacks as much as I can, trying to get into more practice of, uh, jumping. Ooh. But it's good thing we brought those Sundalion foods and lots of other foods to heal us. I think we are going to be making the Deku tree feel a lot better now. You did it! Thank you so much, Mr. Hero. The great Deku tree is waiting for you in Korok Forest.
but we want to get the parts. Gloom sword. Its gloom will eventually wear down the body of its wielder, so I can't really use it. Maybe I can throw it. Demon King's bow. Hmm, I thought there might have been some body parts or something around. Well, that was a tough battle, guys. That was really stressful. Uh, <laughs> that, hurt my, that really had my heart racing. So, I guess we just warp back up. What's this? Oh, an arrow. Oh, boy. Okay. I don't think I need that phrenic bow. Hey, look who's here now. Now we got Hestu here. And we're healed from our gloom hearts. Yeah, it's you. We don't have enough, um... We don't have enough seeds to do the inventory that we want, so we won't worry about him right now. I want to see it. Ah, Mr. Hero, thanks for making Korok Forest normal again. Do you have a minute, Mr. Hero? I've got something I'd like to ask you. Sure. Really? Thank you, Mr. Hero. You see, I have a friend who says they saw a big whirly circle. They saw it in an area with water. If it's really if it's really real, I want to see it myself. Even a picture would do. But it's still too dangerous to leave here, so please make it safe out there soon, Mr. Hero. A big whirly circle, huh? Well, they're probably talking about that whirlpool. Yawn. So now the Koroks are talking. Let's see what they have to say and pick up any flowers while we're here. thought there was more Koroks around here. Maybe they're all back in their home. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Woo! Oh, these are for sale. Yeah. I was gonna take them. So now they're selling mushrooms. No quests though. Everyone looks everyone looks everyone looks good and happy. That makes me happy. Let's go and see the Deku tree now. There we go. Hmm. Ah, so it is you. I must apologize. I am still quite groggy, as though I am awakening from a bad dream. You rid me of that unpleasantness deep within me. Yes, you went to great trouble to restore me. Thank you. It has been some time since last we spoke. Have you been well? Hmm, yes, the last time we spoke. That was when you came here with the princess to retrieve the Master Sword. It is good to see you, Princess Zelda of Hyrule, and Link, Keeper of the Master Sword. Your blade has been fully restored. Go on then, Link. Try it once more. Great Deku Tree! Thank you so much. Ha ha ha. There is no need for thanks. I merely watched over its renewal. It is amazing that a sword can heal itself, no matter how badly damaged it becomes. It can do more than heal. The sword will continue to gain strength if bathed in sacred power. The stronger that power, the more powerful the sword becomes. The potential of this fabled blade may well be limitless. Truly the work of a goddess. The sword, 
that grows ever stronger. The Master Sword. But the sword, it would seem that you no longer wield it. Where has it gone? What is it? What is this, then? You do not know where the Master Sword is? I see, yet I can sense it even now. There can be no mistake. It's here. That's Zelda. In the sky, I feel the Master Sword's presence strongly in this area. But what could this mean? The Master Sword seems to be moving. You may need to be resourceful to reach the sword, but you must find a way. Surely the Master Sword is awaiting you, just as you are seeking it. Recovering the Hero's Sword. So there we are. So that's going to be the new objective, and that's going to be how we're going to find Zelda. And we, yeah, so this one. So we're going to keep this one active. And I guess it'll show us in real time where she is. Is that how it works? Let's see. Yeah, so I guess time doesn't move while we're on the map. But there she is. So what we have to do is... We could probably get there right now. She's very close to here, the Skyview Tower. So let's just... So there she is! We can totally get to her. Looks like we might need to open this up for a bit to get some height. Or length, I mean. I'm pretty sure we want to go right where her head is, right where the light is. Wow, you guys, this is so epic. I can't believe it. <gasps> oh! oh my god. <laughs> so you have to have a lot of stamina for this. We pretty much need, I think, the entire two rings. Hopefully this works. Come on, Link, you can do it.
Link. The Master Sword. Your sword. She is the key to destroying the Demon King. He defeated her before, but a long slumber will heal these grievous wounds. And when you two next face the Demon King, you will have my strength to help you through her. Link, you are our final hope. I pray. This sword reaches you in the future. All right, we got the Master Sword, the legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its corruption was healed by its time with the Light Dragon. The blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the Demon King. Yeah, I definitely wanted to make sure that we got that. There we are. Um, so I'm assuming it doesn't break. Revitalized sword, yeah. So, I mean, but what is the strength, I wonder, of it, huh? Here's that gloom sword that we don't even really want to use because it ends up... It'll probably... I don't know how this works. But I wanted to make sure that we got the, the um, Master Sword before we finally now start to think about moving on to the first dungeon back at Rito village area we're finally ready oh, I see where we are well thank you very much Zelda is that her light dragon that's her all right well uh, we have a little bit of time but we are now on the next episode at least gonna be moving on and continuing our journey in Rito, in the hurricane there that you see behind us, way up in the sky. But I think uh, since we have just a little time to fill in this episode, what I'm going to do is go back to the Lost Woods and investigate there just a little bit more now that things have changed there. Yeah, there was some different ways to go here, so let me just look around a little bit more. Let's go this way. Alright, you can't go past here, why not? Hey, no going past here. Oh, you're a Hylian. Well, since you're not a Korok, I guess I don't need to stop you. There's this thing beyond here that I can't stop thinking about. I keep wanting to go check it out again. You know, the thing that showed up in Korok Forest? I saw something similar to that, but it looked kind of different. But when I tried to go back to it, there was a bunch of monsters coming out of the woodwork. Tree monsters and bone monsters, so I'm keeping guard here to warn other Koroks. Because it's really dangerous. But I'm not about to stop any Hylians who are feeling brave. Just be careful. Oh, and the flowers are there to help keep you from getting lost, so don't go picking them. I'll pick this one. And that's it. So the flowers are there to help us not get lost. We'll follow the flowers and we'll try out our new master sword. I'm going to take this one. And this one.
Ah, okay, enough of this. Where do I go? This way? I'm gonna run past you. I'm gonna run past all of you. Oh, here's the shrine. But there's nothing here. I probably have to get a, a stone or something. Seek the crystal. Yes, where is it? Hmm, that away, huh? Right, that wasn't too hard. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, I didn't know it was one of those. Oh man, I forgot how to fight these guys. Hmm. I've forgotten how to fight these guys. I really have. Huh. Oh, man. Okay, well, this is not the way to do it, obviously. Let's see here. How do I do this? Okay, first of all... I need to eat something. Yeah, more of this attack up. Ah! Oh! Alright, so I'm climbing him. This I kind of remember doing. Let's hit the, the rock here. Ah, oh, I wish I could target these guys and lock on. When I try and target, it just doesn't work. There we go. That was good. No, don't do that. Alright, so if I can get on him one more time, I think we could be good. Yikes. Darn it. That sucks. What? Well, that was weird. I couldn't get on him. Here we go. This might do it if I can be fast enough. I was so close. Well, we almost got it now. Can't see what I'm doing. Alright, here we go.
Alright, so that was a bit of a struggle, but we got it. Lots of amber, which is good. What's this? I wonder if I can do something with this. I bet I could. Let's see. Let's take this. Plus 13. Aha. Uh -huh. That'll be useful. Now hopefully we don't get bothered heading back to the uh, shrine. So I think there's a few shrines in the Lost Woods that we can do. I think there's probably like as many as three um, other ones besides this one. But I think we'll just do this shrine and then that'll be enough for this episode. Hey, I was able to come here again. Thanks to you, I actually secretly followed you. I was a little scared of the monsters, but I managed because of you. But it seems like it's shaped differently than what I saw before. I wonder who moved such a big boulder. How strange. None shall pass. Complete. All right. Ah, oh, this one's a blessing. So I guess that the stone talus was battle enough. Let's see what kind of amazing gift we get here. Another zonai charge? Oh, a diamond. Thank you. Thank you, Raru. Well, I don't know. That was short, huh? And maybe we can do something else in this episode. So I'm going to head back now. I'm wondering if any of those monsters show up again anymore. Or was that it? Oh yeah, they're here. I want to look around this place a little bit more. down this way. Korok for Oh, that was the way out? Let's look around the Lost Woods just a little bit more than here, the, the Korok Forest. Yeah, it's nice to see the Deku tree looking all healthy now. It's much better. It looks much nicer around here, I think. I guess there's nothing back here. Not even any any items, unfortunately, but oh well.
Nope. Duh, we don't want to lose consciousness. What about up here? It's hard to tell where they're allowing us to go and where they're not. Like, this looks like they're inviting us to go this way, but probably not. No, they're not. There's no way. This way, the yeah, is it? Aha, here's another stone. Pretty, isn't that green color of the stone so pretty? I found it myself. I want it, huh? You can't have it. No, no, I found it. Hmm, but if you do something for me, maybe I'll consider it. Sure. Okay, the thing is, I love golden apples, and a pretty stone is pretty. But I can't really eat it. So if you bring me five golden apples, I'll trade you one pretty stone. I think I have that. Keep following this path and go real super far on it. You'll find a big bog called Mido Swamp. And on the north side of the bog are trees where golden apples grow. But there have been more monsters recently, so going there to pick them is hard now. Oh. Oh yeah, also the bog is bottomless, so don't fall in. Hmm, could, could it be that you have five golden apples? Here you go. Yep, I already have them. Let's see if we can get this to the proper spot. Sounds like half of our job's already done here. Oh, that's easy. It's right there. Papunke Shrine. I suppose getting the golden apples was meant to be one of the more hard parts. Hmm, so let's see if this one's a blessing or if they're actually going to give us something to do here. And it's another blessing. All right. Mighty Zonite Sword. Well, what can we get rid of? Get rid of this eightfold blade that's about to break anyway. Oh boy. So I'll just look around the forest a little bit more because I think that there might be one more. I'm pretty sure there is. I'm pretty sure there is one around here somewhere around Lake Saria. So let's just keep looking around. This is the way, this is the entrance exit, I think. So I don't want to check there yet. I want to stay here within Grounds. So let's try this way. This might be it. Yes. I'll go see how it's doing. It's been a while, so maybe I should go see how it's going over there. Over there? Up ahead, there's a special place just for Maka. In the forest, there's a wide open space, and right in the middle, there's a green swirl. 
And you can see an island floating in the sky from there. Maka loves that place. Oh, but since it's covered in lost fog, only Koroks can go there. So you can't come with me, but I'll tell you where to find it. Could you show me your map? It's here. You can see an island floating in the sky from there. I wonder if you could see into the forest from that sky island too. I wonder if you could see into the forest from that sky island. Hmm, so let's take a look. So we're not gonna be able to do anything here, I think. Yeah. Mm hmm we're so close to it. So, let me look here. When we go up to the sky, aha, there is this. But how do we get to this, huh? How are we going to get to this? Where is the closest tower, I wonder? Oh, here. I wonder if we can get there from here. That's a long ways. I don't know, maybe these islands can kind of... I don't know, it's a tough one. I wonder if that's what we're supposed to do. We can try. Because there's this tower, but that's far away. And then this one, far away, far away. Hmm... Well, I guess we'll try. Because I can easily make that. Hmm. I don't know. So here's the islands. It looks like we can pretty easily get to them. So that was the red one. The yellow one. I'm going to try and get to this round one. Let me just double check on this. Ultimately, we want to get to the green one. There's something on that island. I think it's one of those gigantic golems... Those Zonai golems. I think. We briefly saw one of those at the end of one of our episodes. Yeah. We're not going to fight him right now. Here's a nice place to rest. Let's see, does he see us? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> so we kind of want to get over to that. Is that what we're trying to get to?
Yes, I can see into the Lost Woods there. We can see it from here. So I think I kind of understand what we need to do here. First, we're going to land on this amazing moving platform, which is amazing. Wow. Well, we can't see it there. Yeah, let's just jump here. I see it. Yeah, this is perfect. This is right where I want to be, right here. Oh, what? Okay, we're okay. Wow, we're good. Oh. Well, I think I think we snuck in and got that one. Yeah, and it's another blessing. Yeah, so I'm definitely event sometime going to be going back and exploring those chain islands there again. That was really cool. That was a nice little preview of those. We'll definitely explore that more in the future. Ooh, that's a pretty good construct bow. Let's drop this one. So there we go. There's the three little extra shrines that you can get in the Lost Woods. I don't think there's another one. Um, there might be. You never know. But I think what I'm going to do now is, yeah, just kind of prepare for heading on to our next episode. Here's our friend. Oh, you found this place, even though you're not a Korok. Wow. This is the special place that I, Maka, found. Maka likes to come here alone sometimes. Didn't think I would find someone else here. Yeah, thank you for the warm welcome, Maka. <laughs> so... Let's just see what happens if we go out of bounds here. If it'll take us back to the shrine or to the entrance. I don't know where it took us. Look at this tree. Looks like a face. <laughs> I love these creepy mouths. This place is pretty scary, I have to say. Oh boy. All right, well, it's called the Lost Woods for a reason. Here I... Okay. Forget it. Here, hold on. All right, so that's a good place to end for now. So we've accomplished a lot. There was still... There was this one guy back here. I forget what he wanted, though. I want to yeah. see it. Oh, right, I gotta get a picture of that thing, that whirlpool in Lake Hylia. Yeah, so that's it. So we helped the Deku Tree and brought peace back to the Lost Woods, and we got some shrines, and we also picked up our Master Sword. Where is it? Here we go. Yeah, let's have that equipped. 
So, we're ready to move on, finally, to the Rito area and continue on towards the first dungeon once again. Alright, so in the next episode, I'll meet you guys right up there. High up in the storm. The cyclone, whatever they're calling it. Typhoon. In the Rito area. And that's where we'll, we'll be continuing our adventure there. Alright? But thank you everybody for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link below. I'm Oko. And I'll see you guys all on the next episode of our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one. Bye for now. I love the detail here how Link's leg is up on the block. You see how his, his left leg is kind of raised? Isn't it amazing how far we've come in video games, huh? Graphics. Link never would have done that in Ocarina Time or... Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, even.